There are so many delish foods that you can grow at home and nothing tastes better. And spring is one of the best times of the year to be out planting them and also sometimes to be harvesting. One of the odder fruits in my garden is probably this one, the babaco or champagne fruit. This zeppelin-shaped fruit is a distant member of the papaya family, originating in South America in the cooler mountainous regions. And it doesn't produce seed, so you have to grow it from cuttings or buy a plant from your local garden centre. Now, it gets its common name, champagne fruit, from the texture of the flesh. Now, when you bite into it, it's tingly. It has a slight anise flavour. It is absolutely delicious. And if you're wondering well, what the difference is between babaco and papaya, well, babacos are cold climate plants from the mountains in South America. Papaya come from tropical regions. So to have two of them growing in the same garden is very, very unusual. My papaya has really struggled through the winter, but my babaco has gone ballistic. This is the time of the year to be growing veggies, establishing tomatoes and getting the greens growing. Spring rains and warmth really help, and now is the time to plant. And if your garden's just getting going, it's absolutely time to give it a feed. Now, you may be wondering why I've got those white barriers up around the outside of my garden beds. Well, right in the peak of the time of the year when we get things like rabbits coming in, but not just them, we've got echidnas and bandicoots, and guess what they love? They love digging up holes and eating the produce. And for something different, this is the time to get your hands on mushroom kits. There's the usual button or portobello mushrooms, which need to be placed in cool, dark positions. Or you can go for the exotic gourmet mushrooms, like oyster mushrooms, which are best grown in a well-lit, protected position like this atrium. Now, the kits pretty much arrive like this, and all you really need to do is make sure you read the instructions. So I've got golden oyster right here, and that is shiitake. And you simply cut the bags like this, and then when you've cut across and opened it up, you're just going to need to miss them. Probably twice a day is all they'll need. Bit of air in there, a little bit of water, a bit of mist in there, and you'll be harvesting all the time. The mushroom's growth varies by type, but typically you'd see the mycelium spreading and the fruit developing after 10 days, which will be the mushrooms that you harvest just a few days after they've started developing. Try not to leave them there for too long or else the spore will drop and there's a chance, if moisture levels are right, that they might start popping up in garden beds or on odd bits of wood in the garden. There are so many things that you could be growing at home that'll deliver fresh food for you. Everything from chickens. Now's a great time to set up a chicken coop and have your own fresh eggs coming along. Or maybe you want to do this, have a pond and grow your own trout. If you're looking for some inspiration, simply check out our website. Look at you guys.